a quick do-it-yourself video that will show you how to make very low cost highly effective strobe arms for your underwater housing now this should work on different types of housings but this one is specific to Eichelite housings well you're gonna need a flexible tube this is just a plastic one inch tubing uh, that corresponds with the one inch lock line tubing that you can order online from lock lines uh, website lastly you're gonna need the one inch attachment piece that Eicolite has um, for their housings and again if you're doing this for a different housing uh, you may need to see how they attach their strobe arms to the housing itself although here with Eicolite they do use a one inch ball joint. First step here is to put the lock line tubing on to the plastic tube. Now you want this to be the length of your strobe arms. And it's gonna take a while to get all these on there, but if you muscle through it, it's well worth it. It adds a very necessary amount of stability, especially for larger strobes. Next step is to drill a hole in the male part of the lock line tubing, just in the very end there and we're going to add in a small little metal cylinder that is actually going to allow the clamps to clamp onto the lock line tubing without crushing the plastic. And now that you drilled the hole, uh, what you want to do is place that little metal cylinder inside of the male side and then with the nut and bolt that you have, screw those together and tighten it down. should look just like that, nice and tight and that again will give a place for the clamp to hold onto. Now the last step here is to connect the strobe arm connector, the ball joint that Eicolite provides, to the lock line tubing. Now again, it's a pretty tight fit, so you're going to have to muscle it on there, but it's not really tight enough to hold up uh, some of the larger strobes out there. Um, so what we're going to do is through bolt it. So what you want to do is drill a hole all the way through, Put a bolt in there, stainless steel definitely recommended, as well as a stainless steel nylon lock nut. And then you're just going to do this twice for both strobe arms. They should look just like this. All right, now the final step is to assemble everything. Now here on the strobe, I have a ball joint on each side. Now this ball joint, this is how I chose to connect the strobe arms to the housing itself. It does make it a little easier to disconnect and reconnect. Uh, although just like we put the um, ball joint attachment onto the lock line tubing, you could do that with the strobes as well and bolt them on there a little more permanently. Um, but again, I chose to use the clamps, the strobes on. Uh, this is where that little metal cylinder comes into play. Now for the life of me, I don't know what it's called. Uh, you can pick it up at a hardware store though. And uh, when you clamp it down, it gives it a nice supporting surface to really get those strobes on there tight. Um, again, you could just bolt directly to the strobe if you wanted to, but I think this is a little more versatile. It gives you the option of kind of spinning those strobes around and getting all kinds of angles without having to move the entire uh, arm. All right, and there you have it. Now they are very durable. I've been diving with them for a long time here. Extremely strong. You can move them in any direction. Once you get them underwater, the strobes obviously become much lighter and you can literally have them hanging at any angle you would like. Uh, it's amazing, they're cheap. You can buy the lock line tubing online. These are strobe arms that could, would probably run you over $200. Here you can do it for easily less than 50. So enjoy it. I hope you liked it. Again, if uh, this helped you out, definitely subscribe. And uh, if you have any better ideas or any suggestions, certainly uh, post those in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.